St. Patrick's Day revelers already getting the party started today, but the height of the celebrations will be tomorrow, and Boston police have a warning for partygoers to be safe. WBZ's Laura Hafley reports from South Boston, where all the parade action will be happening. The St. Patrick's Day Parade kicks off in less than 24 hours, but here in South Boston, celebrations have already begun. On Sunday, South Boston will be a sea of green as the city prepares for the biggest holiday celebration of the year. Everyone's Irish. Saturday, lines were forming outside of businesses along Broadway. Locals and city visitors ready to claim their seats at busy bars along the parade route. People are already gearing up for it. People are already like forming the lines Woo! and camping out and whatnot for the bars, but it should be a lot of fun. But not everyone is looking forward to the madness. All of us have to take precautions. Paul Jenner spends parade day protecting his business. I have to be here to protect this window, for, so I have to watch out for all these, you know, revelers here. They're going to be here that they don't, you know, tear the cardboard off our window. We'll be closed tomorrow. But the city is promising a seamless celebration. Warning neighbors, the Boston Police Department is increasing patrols and shutting down bars at 7. Ah, Hi. According to parade organizers, Bostonians were the first to celebrate St. Patrick's Day in North America. That was in 1737. Centuries later, the city's still proud of its Irish roots. I feel like it's she a has, historical she neighborhood. <laughs> And people are traveling from all over the country to be here. It's a good feeling when you're here for St. Patrick's Day. I understand why people come from different countries. It's, it's such a warm feeling. But for Bostonians, it's a day that will always belong to them. I grew up here. It's like family and reminiscing. Tomorrow's parade is like so nice. Like it's just it's like a community. It feels really nice. The parade begins at one o'clock on Sunday. They're going to start at West Broadway and Dorchester Avenue and end in Andrew Square in South Boston. Laura Hayfleet, WBZ News.